Good morning, y'all. I think this is a little crooked, but anyway, it doesn't matter. Whoa, hold on. <laughs> I didn't have the back leg fastened and it was going down. Y'all, um, first, let me start by saying that yesterday I had a doctor's appointment. And it was to my regular doctor, who is a sweetheart. And I have had her for a while now. And so when my insurance changed from, I guess you would call it Obamacare, over to Medicare, I was able to keep her. And I was glad because I really like her. Although, she will not give me any drugs for my back. She ordered an MRI for me, so I'll take that. She said the x-rays show that I have a lot of arthritis and scoliosis. Okay, big deal. Here's the thing, y'all. She gave me this shot that was supposed to help my back. Well, her nurse gave it to me. I am telling you, next to having a baby... It is the worst pain that I can ever remember. They gave it to me up here in this upper arm. And the girl told me, the young lady told me before she gave it to me, she goes, this shot is painful. It's going to hurt. And I thought, eh, I've had shots before, blah, blah, blah. She said, it's going to sting. She gave me that shot, y'all, and I am telling you, it was all I could do not to grab her arm. I was trying to get away from her, and she was holding my arm. It felt like she was digging into my bone or something. I don't know what it was. It has not helped my back. I will never have it again. Evidently, it's not just a shot, but it's serum, and it's really Thick. Never, ever, ever will I have that again, okay? I can't do it. Anyway, just thought I'd tell you that. That was uh, not my something fun yesterday. Now, I'm going to do mail call, and it's from like about three weeks. Um, I've been putting it off a little bit until it kind of built up. Now, these things are going to be out of order, Okay. And I have to admit that I have lost a couple of things. Oh, here's one. Okay. Uh, okay, so I know who that came from. Y'all, I am so sorry. Um, whoa, whoa, whoa. You can tell I haven't really put together day to day, okay? Let me start with this one since it's fallen everywhere. Now, this is from Wendy, and she sends this. I'm looking for an address. Not her address, but where it came from. Anyway, I can't find that. But this is from Wendy, and it is so sweet, and it will be of a lot of use. Can y'all see that? This is a really cool bar that you put in your van, and you can hang stuff on it. And I think I'll be able to use it for my blackout curtain. Um, so... Wendy, thank you so much, sweetie. That is so nice. Y'all are really going to think that I'm botching this stuff up today, let me tell you. Okay, now, here is a little ornament that I got yesterday, I think, or day before yesterday. Now, y'all, I had... On the paper, I had cut the name and the address out of the brown paper of the box that it came in. Now, I lost that paper, sweetie. I am so sorry. It could be, 
I went out just now and I looked in the van. I looked on the ground. Um, I dropped it somewhere and I am so sorry. The zip code is 94403. So I believe that's somewhere here in California. And sweetie, I'm so sorry, but y'all look at this little ornament. Is that not the cutest little baby? And needless to say, he is going on our Christmas tree. Thank you so much, sweetie. And I apologize again. I am such a ditz, y'all. Now, this beautiful little card came from Christy, and she lives in Korea. Can you believe that? You see that little writing is not English. I am always so thrilled when folks who live in another country send me a little card or letter. They're very special. They're all very special, but I love that. Now, this came from Deborah. I, I'm not going to show it to you, but I'll tell you what it was. Deborah in San Francisco. Now, that's somebody that may be on my way to Oklahoma. I mean, whew, I'm so sorry. <laughs> I'm on my way to Washington next time. Then I might be able to buzz by and have a cup of coffee or something. But anyway, Deborah from San Francisco sent me this big envelope, and it was full, y'all, full of coupons. Sweetie, some of us, I mean, oh my God, y'all, should I wait and do this another day? <laughs> some of them I was able to use, and some of them I shared with Mary Jo. Okay. Now, this little card came with a wonderful letter from Louise in Canada, but I have to show you. First, I'll show you the outside of the card. Pretty flowers. Now, look what she hand drew. Does that not look exactly like Hazel? Can y'all see that? It is adorable. I love that so much. Thank you so much, Louise. Thank you, thank you, thank you. And I loved your letter. Y'all, it was a nice long letter. It was typewritten. And I really, really appreciate that. Now, here is a card, a birthday card. And she says... Sorry so late. You're never too late, okay, for a beautiful card. Now, this came from Jerry, and look at this card, y'all. Can you tell that, that it's all in relief? And, oops, let me see. It is actually a little ornament. Is that not adorable? Thank you, thank you, thank you. I hear dogs barking. We've got Goodwill coming to pick up three chairs today. And, and I'm so happy about that, y'all. Okay, now I got a wonderful letter from Becky. And um, she sent me, it was just the sweetest thing, y'all. The video I made with my little cross, and I called it, what did I call it, a heart or something? I don't know. I didn't call it the right thing. Surprise, surprise. Anyway, she has a neighbor, Leah, and this she had her neighbor watch my video. And y'all, you see this? Now, Becky is from Joplin, Missouri. I can't show you all of them, but y'all, look at all these little crosses that she made. 
and they have a saying that goes in them. And it says, the cross in my pocket. I carry this cross in my pocket, reminding no one but me that Jesus Christ is Lord of my life if I let him be. Y'all, excuse me. I am going to put these to such good use. They will be the crosses that I use to hold money when I am shown that I should give some. All right? Thank you, thank you, thank you. Thank you for these crosses. I so appreciate them. And they will go to good use. And I think I will take some to Bread of Life as well to pass out there. Thank you so much. Okay, now here's a Thanksgiving card that was sent to me from Amy and Amani. I know I'm butchering that, sweetie, but I am so sorry about that. But this is a beautiful card, and I love it, and I appreciate it. Now, Brenda sent me a request for two stickers, and I'm going to get those out to you, hopefully, in today's mail, sweetie. Now, she sent me a postage self-addressed envelope, and it's one of these envelopes. Y'all, please don't send me envelopes like this because the stickers are too big. So, I send them in a little card. Okay, and I, I'm sorry, Brenda, that I'm not going to be able to use your envelope, but you will be getting your stickers. Now, Rowan always sends me little cards. This is from Lakes and Trance, Victoria. She always sends me a sweet little card when she's traveling, which she does quite a bit, by the way. And here is an early um, Christmas card, and she just signed it in C. That's so sweet. Thank you, sweetie, so much. Now, this, oh, 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 thank goodness. Here's the card that goes to my little ornament from Chris. And here's the Christmas card that she sent me. I'm so excited that I thought I was losing my mind, which I am. Okay, let's see. I'm trying to not get things too mixed up. Puppy, I'm so glad I have the card from your mommy. Okay, now let me see what else. I got, here's another example, y'all, of me losing my mind. I got this box with uh, Simply Bell. Y'all know I think that smells wonderful. And this is body wash. And y'all, the other day, I forgot it was body wash and I used it for hand lotion. <laughs> Hello. Um, but thank you so much, sweetie. Now, this came from Austin, Texas, and the name on here is Lysa Nguyen. Now, that's not who that who sent it to me. I think that's who um, it got mailed from. And sweetie, I'm so sorry. I could have sworn I had the thing with your name on it, and I'm so sorry. And she also sent me, now this is skin moisturizer, and it's organic, and look at that cute little, it, that's grapes, a cluster of grapes, and you know what? I can make a necklace out of that. That is so cute, y'all, and it's so beautiful. 
So thank you, sweetie. I appreciate these both. And I will remember to put this in the bathtub and not use it for hand lotion. <laughs> okay. Now then, I got this from Shelly. And it is so cute. And Shelly has sent me cards before. And I always appreciate them. And this is a Thanksgiving card. And I have to read y'all what it says. Not send you a happy Thanksgiving wish? That would be nuts. <laughs> I just laughed when I got that. Now, she also sent me a wonderful wonderful gift in this card and I so appreciate it. Look how cute that is, y'all. Thank you so much, Shelly. I so appreciate it. Okay, now then. This is my last one. Y'all, I'll try not to be so screwed up next time I do this. Now, this card... Let me see, where'd that come from? Tennessee. This card is from Gwen. It is a beautiful, y'all can see that, can't you? Glittery card. And she sent me a little gift card in here. And Gwen, just in time, sweetie. <laughs> I guess I can say it was from Starbucks. Thank you so much. I was so out, and I am so happy to have your sweet gift. Thank you. Gosh, y'all. Maybe, I don't know what the deal is. I haven't had any caffeine this morning. That could be it. Anyway, I love my glittery little Santa Claus card. In fact, I'm going to put a little hook up here and make an ornament out of him. Thank you so much. Y'all, I am so sorry that I butchered this stuff up so bad. And I am so sorry for um, being so confusing and out of whack, y'all. I just, um, lately I've just kind of been like that. I don't know exactly why. Um, of course, my dearest friend in the world, Mary Jo, she notices, and she said, boy, maybe you need to go see your doctor. <laughs> She's calling about that. She's talking about the head doctor, which I do have an appointment to see, and it's a new one, um, but I don't care. But anyway, y'all, um, I just want to say yesterday, when I had that shot, I cried like a little baby. I got to my van and just, and I think the reason that I was crying so much is that I was kind of ashamed that I thought that my pain was so bad because y'all, I'm sure, I know there are some of y'all that live with excruciating pain on a daily basis and I am so sorry. And I pray that God has mercy for everyone who has pain. I cannot imagine, y'all. I cannot imagine. But it so humbled me and just reinforced the fact of how blessed I am. So, um... My prayers go out and my just, you guys are awesome to be able to deal with this. I don't know how you do it. But anyway, y'all, what's wrong with me lately? I, everything is kind of like a downer. Well, this video was not, but I, I just hope and pray that y'all do a little something fun every single day day. Today, it's getting rid of these old, nasty chairs. <laughs> we are supposed to be here from nine to four. So, they'll probably come at like 
355. But anyway, such as it is, I'm glad they're coming to get them, get them out of our way. And um, that will be a very fun thing. I love you guys. And if you are in pain, I, I'm going to pray for you every day. I'll see you next time. Bye, y'all.